Hello and welcome to the Boys Upstairs Show. This is our preseason Super Bowl prediction show. <laughs> Woo! I think that we're just going to open it up to the open forum. We're going to do our NFC and AFC championship games. And then we're going to say who's going to win the Super Bowl. The Eagles, no one's talking about the Eagles. They have all pros at literally every position. On paper, they're the most talented roster to, like, ever grace this earth. And I I, don't, I think they're too talented to not make it to the NFC Championship game. So I think they're going to be in it. They're, they're, they picked up all kind of all pros. They got Devin White. They had the best draft by far. They somehow ended up with Will Shipley, two new corners, uh, Johnny Wilson. So I, I think that that they're going to make the, the, the NFC championship. And then this, I hate saying because of who our fans are, but I think green Bay does make the NFC championship. I think that they, their offense is electric and I think their defense got better and it's really good. And I think they're a better team than the lions. I love the lions. I just like to say, and I really hope that the lions go to the super bowl. Like if I could pick based off teams, I like, but I think it's going to be Packers, Eagles, and then wait. If you think I'm taking basalts now, wait. Give me a second. <laughs> just, just, just wait until until the the crystal meth addiction rumors start spreading. Pick the Patriots. I'll jump off my balcony right now. No, no, no. no. You can stay on your balcony. I think that Jalen Hurts folds in the big game, and the Green Bay Packers are Super Bowl bound. No fucking way. You are on crack. <laughs> And then I'm gonna say in the in the AFC that the Kansas City Chiefs go back. I think even though they're gonna be on a verge of a three peat and they lost Lajarius Sneed, I feel like Patrick Mahomes with a blindfold, like and and six eight year olds out there probably is making the AFC championship. Just even when they're not trying, they're better than half the teams in the league. It's ridiculous. They didn't have great defense in previous years, so if they lost Lajarius. I think McDuffie's going to step up. And I think that the Houston Texans uh, are going to be playing them in the Super in, in the not in the Super Bowl, in the AFC Championship. And I think I, for, I I forget who was saying it earlier. Maybe it was it was Sam or something. I think the Chiefs do not make it to the Super Bowl for the first, not for the first time, but for the for the first time in like a couple of years. And I think it is. Texans Packers Super Bowl. I know. I I really I was really Lions were super close to being in my picks for the NFC and the Ravens were super close to being in my pick for the AFC. But this is just how I see it going and then I'm going to say that CJ Stroud wins the Super Bowl in his second year with the Houston Texans. That would be a great story. I now, think that, that would young, start some uncomfortable conversations. I think CJ I think the young and hungry Texans overwhelm the the Chiefs who aren't not hungry but you know they're they've definitely had some some food on their plate in the past previous years so I think that their young and hungriness kind of elevates them over I don't think that the I think a lot would have to go right for the for the Chiefs to 3P again so I'm gonna say that the Texans go and do it and I think that I, I can't say the Packers win but I don't think the Packers would win either I kind of debated with myself whether I wanted to put the Bears in it or not put the Bears in it uh, to kind of temper my expectations. I'm not going to put the Bears in this one. I think the Bears are going to win the Super Bowl. I will be placing a bet on the Bears to win the Super Bowl. Fuck it now. I'm putting the Bears in. <laughs> I'm I Bears can't be the only in. one who's going to do it, Sam. All right, NFC I'm Championship. Ride it with NFC Championship, I'm going to go Bears, and I'm going to go – you know what? I spent all last show hyping up Dak. Fuck it. Dallas Cowboys. Bears versus Dallas Cowboys in the NFC Championship. Oh, Bears win on. that one. AFC side, I'm going to go a divisional rematch from last year and go Houston Texans versus Baltimore Ravens, even though I spent the last show shitting on the Texans. Not really, just not even shitting on C.H. Stroud, just saying that he's not like him yet, necessarily. I think, obviously, it's like, you don't have the Chiefs in this. What the fuck? I think this might be the year where... Sorry, my dog was barking. Um... I think this might be the year where the Chiefs cruise more than ever, honestly, like throughout the regular season. I kind of have this hunch. Cruise throughout the regular season, and I'm just like, oh, my God, it's going to happen again or whatever. And they're going to go out in, like, the first or second round in a very surprise exit. Probably will be the first for them, divisional, or if it's second, so be it. 
but I think they're going to have a divisional round exit. Um, I think the Ravens are going to beat the Texans. The Bears get it done. And I can't because it does seem like destiny that the Ravens would win it this year. Like it seems like they're due. But I mean, dude, if the Bears got to the Super Bowl this year and lost, I don't know what the fuck I would do. So they're not losing. Sam, you know, has been on this show for four years. We've been doing this show four <laughs> years. Shout out to us. I don't think that there's been any level of hope that there has been going into the season that there ever has been for the Bears while Sam's set while Sam's been doing the show. Him dude. picking the Bears to win the Super Bowl is a different level of uh hope slash hype slash you know, being a true fan. And I respect it. I think the Bears are going to be really good this year. I do. For my pick, I'm going to go with the Lions. I think they can do it. They got the talent. They got less drama than the 49ers. The 49ers have a lot of off-season drama. There's a lot going on within the organization. Brock Purdy is the quarterback. That's very hard to have a quarterback. Like, we've seen what happened with these 49ers quarterbacks. They come and they go. They come and they go. They come and they go. And it's not hard to get another one, but who knows if Brock Purdy Brock Purdy's going to still be good? So I'm going to go with the Lions to win the NFC. The odds have them at plus 550. I think those are great odds to go get them at. That's when we move on to AFC. We already know what I'm going with here. If y'all, this is for the viewers. If you want to turn ten dollars into a hundred, put ten on plus one thousand Miami Dolphins to win the AFC. I don't know why Jake is laughing in the corner, but Miami Dolphins plus 1,000 to win the AFC, it's a lot. We just got to beat the Chiefs. That's as cold as it gets. We just got to beat the Chiefs. If we beat the Chiefs in fucking Kansas, wherever the fuck, damn near Canada, wherever they play at, we'll, we'll win outright this season. And the Chiefs have had a tremendous fall off. We, besides Travis Kelsey, every receiver on that team is probably damn near our age. So... He has no one to throw this bitch to. All that thing, that's over with. But then again, it is Patrick Mahomes, so you never know. But I'm going with the Dolphins here. We're going plus 1,000 AFC winners, Super Bowl winners. Take your pick. I just want to point out how nuts the NFL is. I think 2021, I think the Lions won only a few games. They had the number two overall pick. And then the following year, the Bears had the number one overall pick. Yep. They were the worst teams in the league back-to-back years. Sam just picked the Bears to win the Super Bowl, and Cam just picked the Lions to get there. That's how nuts the NFL is, <laughs> how fast it is. I think realistically there's three teams in the NFC North that could win the Super Bowl this year. Or get yeah, one, and one of them's quarterback by Sam Darnold. Babe, no, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm not. I, no. I, I understand where I am in my life. One All of right. Them is <laughs> Before I finish, I just want to say I think it's so. Holy crazy. shit, Cam's still going. Vegas has <laughs> Vegas has the Ravens and the I can see the Ravens, but the Bills at plus four seventy five and the Bengals at plus seven hundred to win that AFC. I think a billionaire goes to Vegas every year and puts his net worth on the Bills. There's no reason they should be. That. I mean, I, that's just Sam wanted the Bears to trade the pick, keep Fields. Now he's seen Caleb play one preseason game. No, 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 no. Not only is he picking them to go to the Super Bowl, but to win the whole freaking thing. It's not just Talk him. Talk about it's a him switch and up. It. I will say this in all honesty, though. If they had the same team, but it was just roles reversed, Fields and versus Caleb, I picked them either way. Um, but, I mean, that team as a whole right now, you look at that defense. I mean, they are fucking good. And like their whole secondary, you got a bunch of dudes on the secondary defensive lines, a little bit of an issue. Uh, I love how we turn every single like non biased show into a bear show somehow. But yeah, I mean, they're a good squad and they improve dramatically. And they're what a few historical fourth quarter blown leads last year away from being 10 and seven with that team. And you make a ton of improvements like that. It's I think quarterback the sky's the limit for them. The AFC title game is going to be a rematch of last year. This time it's going to be an arrowhead. I said this. I think the same thing, Jake. And this time the Ravens are going to win. <laughs> also, I would love if for week one, if the Ravens get blown out. I would love that. I, I, would I think that's that. what's going to happen. That, that way, that way their odds will go up and I can make more money off it. But <laughs> um, it'll be in arrowhead. Ravens at Chiefs. This time the Ravens are going to win. I swear to you, I was gonna pick the Bengals. I swear to you, I was, I was like, you know, Dude, I was gonna, gonna pick the Bengals. But are the Ravens Higgins, gonna run the ball this time. Wait, say again. 
Are the Ravens going to run the ball this time? They better. We have fucking Derrick Henry. It's interesting. They lost some defensive guys and their D coordinator. I like, though, their defensive culture that they will be able to – if they struggle in the beginning of the season, they will be able to fix things as the season goes on. Toughest division in sports. The the Are the Browns or the Steelers in fourth place in that division? Either one is could win 10, 11 games. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's a gauntlet. I was going to pick the Bengals. I don't like Joe Burrow's haircut. I don't like T. Higgins not being happy about playing on the tag. I don't like Jamar Chase not being signed. So I'm, I'm, I'm off of them. Um, the Bills, no. I don't, I don't like that Josh Allen's got no receivers. I think it's going to be a rematch in Arrowhead. The Ravens are going to win. They will run the ball a lot. Derrick Henry will be a huge factor, even though he's been in the league almost nine, ten years as a running back. The NFC is the fun one. Sam is a Bears fan. So his yes, pick that's been established. Laced with, <laughs> is laced with bias. I think the Bears are going to be in the NFC championship game. And I think they're going to play the LA Rams. Ooh. And <laughs> Yes, I love Sean McVay and Stafford. I think that they're – I think that they would have beaten um, – had they beaten the the Lions last year, I think they would have beaten Tampa in the next round if that's who they would have played. And I, I think they would have beaten San Francisco. I really do. I think that Stafford was playing extremely well at the end of the year and the, and the Rams caught – and Kyron Williams, shout out Notre Dame alum, was is a stud oh. – I can't believe I'm going to say this. I think the Bears are going to go to the Super Bowl. I, I really believe it. I really believe that the Bears are going to go to the Super Bowl. Because if the game's in L.A., then I think there, there's there's there's, there's be more Caleb Williams fans in L.A. than Rams fans. And, they're going to, and if it's in Soldier Field, then Stafford's going to have to go play in the freezing cold weather in, in Chicago. I think the Super Bowl is going to be Bears-Ravens, and I think the Ravens are going to win. I think Caleb Williams is going to go from the Pac-12, which doesn't even exist anymore, to the Super Bowl in one year. I that's I really am picking that. Are you not going to acknowledge the 49ers at all, Jake? I don't like their vibes. I don't. I think the Rams are a better team in that division. I do. I also think if the Raven I'm sorry, I also think if the Niners play the Bears or if the Niners play the Rams, they're going to have second best quarterback on the field that day. I just do. The one thing that gives me concern is Ebra Flues. I don't trust him. I don't I think oh, there, there come my. You don't like the new haircut. You don't like the new I, haircut. I just, I just don't know. Listen, if they, if they fired him and hired Vrabel, I, I would have, I would pick it with extreme confidence. Dude, I'm actually the, the flus is part of the reason why I'm so bought in. I just, I, I don't know. I, don't, I don't. I'm risk. It's a little bit of a risk. I think it's going to be Ravens Bears, and I think the Ravens are going to win the Super Bowl this year. Have you seen but, his daughters? Tommy cut that. I did not watch the the hard knocks if that's what you're oh you did it like i i I will cut this out i don't know what the hype is with his daughters they are not attractive at all (laughs) like each his own brother to each his own maybe they're attractive for sandy weiss but i will say i'm looking them up right now and i'm not liking what i'm saying i will say iberflus definitely looks good with the haircut he looks like doesn't he can i say this though quickly the Bears play the Titans and the Panthers early in the season. If they lose one of those two games, then this is going to be an epic fail take by me. If they lose to Will Levis or Bryce Young, this is going to be bad. I'm going out on a limb here. I I, I agree with Jake. I think that this year the Ravens are going to be on the road. There's a slight chance that we might end up in the wild card where we're, we're like fourth. I mean, not fourth, fifth, sixth, and we have to go on the road. And then it's all about matchups. But I think that we make it to the AFC Championship game this year. It's probably going to be an arrowhead, which is tough. I like I like the fact that we, we got Derrick Henry and we're probably going to probably hand the ball off like 15, 20 times. I, I don't know why. I mean, nobody really talked about San Francisco. And nobody has said anything about the Eagles. Like, nobody has comp- and mentioned the Eagles at all. I think they upgraded – uh, offensively, running play action and RPO with Jalen Hurts and AJ Brown and Saquon Barkley. It's kind of like what the Ravens have, but on steroids, because it's like they actually have a receiver that could go up and get the ball on the outside. So I I think it's going to be Eagles Detroit in the NFC Championship, and I think like it's going to be a repeat of last year in the AFC Championship. I think the Eagles win the NFC Championship. They get back to the Super Bowl, 
And uh, I think it's going to be a Birds. I think it's going to be a Birds Super Bowl. I think it's going to be Ravens Eagles. I think that the Lions are going to be in the NFC Championship game. And obviously, like right now, as we sit today, we don't know what the whole seeding situation is going to be. So it's tough to say. But if you're just going to pick two teams who are the best two teams, I think the 49ers and the Lions are going to be in the NFC Championship game. And if it was played tomorrow, I'd pick the 49ers to win that game. We don't know if the Ravens are going to be able to break through. We don't know if the Bills are going to be able to break through. I have the Chiefs and the Bills right now as the AFC Championship game. You'd be a fool if you didn't pick the Chiefs in that game. So I know it's chalk. I know it's exactly what was happened last year, but they're the two best teams. And until something happens, they're still the two best teams. So I have the Chiefs and the 49ers, and I am going to make history here and have the Chiefs being the first team in the Super Bowl era to three-peat, which is boring. I get it. But Taylor Swift is the favorite right now to be the Super Bowl halftime performer for the 2025 Super Bowl. So it would make sense that the Chiefs would win the Super Bowl. So I'll take the Chiefs. I, I see what everybody's saying with the Chiefs. Um, they, they've had a lot of off-the-field stuff with a lot of their guys. They have a lot, like, there's a lot of, like, media, like, bad media surrounding them. It's just so hard to pick against them because of what you've seen. And you know the guy that they have under center, but I I, I understand where I understand what Sam is saying. I understand what Kobe's saying, but it's just so hard to be like, yeah, I don't see the Chiefs making it far because it's like every time you say that they make it to the Super Bowl and they end up fucking winning. Like I I know we say it fucking every year, but like it's like I just don't want to be the guy that goes and like yeah the Chiefs are going to win the Super Bowl. It's like yeah. All right, so I, I get like it. Going into it's like going into an F one race and saying, "Oh, I think Max Verstappen's going to win." Yeah, of course he is. Like, I think the AFC is too good for the same team to win it three years in a row. Yeah, I, even when I, Brady I, ran the AFC, they were they didn't they were not making like like every single Super Bowl to have, that they ever played in. Like they, the Patriots <laughs> made it there three straight years, but they never won three straight. Yeah, but like, I. I uh, they, they, I don't think that they're going to be able to do that. Records are meant to be broken, gentlemen. And I do have to say that Mahomes has been in the AFC Championship game literally every single year of his career. And I, I just don't think that the – like, I had the Bills being in the AFC Championship game. It could be the Ravens. It could be the Bengals. Like, I, I just would pick the Chiefs if the game was tomorrow. So, that like, I get that it's chalk, but that's what I'm I, – I, that's my logic. Yeah. And it's hard to go against that logic. It's really hard. All right. Let me go. Uh, as you got, <laughs> no, I'm nobody American. was stopping you there, Sean. I, don't know, I got work, it's hard to finger. Yeah, uh, I'm a very unbiased person, as you all know. Yeah, with that being said, I'll start with the NFC. Uh, I, uh, I forget who said, but no one's really given the Eagles any love. They added Barkley. Um, I have them going against the Cowboys, who haven't else been talked about, haven't been talked about wow, either. Sean. Wow. Yeah, and I actually have them winning. So I have the Cowboys going to the Super Bowl. Wow. And I have the uh, Steelers versus the Chiefs in a rematch of the playoffs last year. Steelers get revenge. Steelers, Cowboys, rematch from That's what 1976 I'm talking about. and the others, and it will be legendary. So Scott just got a boner while he was sleeping. Yeah. That's my pick. I wish, I wish Kobe was as passionate as you. That's know. probably awake prepping for that game right now. He's probably live streaming this. <laughs> I will say, if Dallas makes it to the Super Bowl, just watching Sports Center or any media platform for the two week period, and not watch ESPN, it, it would just be ridiculous. Like it's so crazy that they've never even made a conference title game while any of us have been alive. I mean, <laughs> it, like regardless, they all will still be on the team for at least this year. I do think that there's a lot of drama. It like even if they're all playing on the team, even if somehow like I know it's not like cap wise possible, even if they all got huge deals tomorrow, I still wouldn't have them in that slot just because of the fact that they are the Cowboys. Dak has not proven that he's a playoff quarterback. I think that CD and Mike Parsons are like fantastic football players, but they they haven't proven it. So I, I have no faith in them. But I respect your pick, Sean. I don't think that the Steelers are going to be that good, even though I would love that to happen. But hey, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs>